What's up? It's your girl Chata Gertis and before we get into the video, I want to put you guys on. Your girl recently partnered up with Native to put you guys onto their amazing natural deodorant. So, um, I've been using this deodorant for about maybe a week and a half now. This stuff really changed my life. All natural products, aluminum free, sulfate free, vegan and cruelty free. First scent, I have apple and honeysuckle and y'all, it smells so good. Real refreshing, you feel me? Coconuts and vanilla, as you guys can see. Amazing. Also, this is actually my favorite. I love coconut stuff. Like, I don't know, anything that's coconut, I'm with it. And lastly, the lavender and rose. Mm, 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 mm. Smells, y'all, like this stuff smells so like refreshing and like real, real natural. Really like non-sticky and it dries extremely quickly so it won't be staining my clothes and things like that. And the scent lasts really, really long. It doesn't rub off at all. A lot of times when I use other deodorants, I don't know, it just makes me like real itchy, y'all. My skin is so sensitive. So anything with a little chemical in it drives me crazy. It makes me itch throughout the day. This right here really changed my life. No itching, no uncomfortable feeling just perfect and natural I'm about to put this one on for you guys so you guys can see how it applies very smooth it smells so good like as I'm putting it on it just smells mm. lavender rose apple honeysuckle and coconut and vanilla is not the only scent you can choose from y'all they have many many variety of different kinds of scents of your liking check their website out they'll have a list of different scents definitely definitely great for when you're on the go it's all natural products such as coconut oil and shea butter best news of all guys this bar is usually about $33 but you can get 33% off using my code which I will display on the screen and you can get a bar for only $24 I will put down everything you need to know their link um, in the description down below so make sure you guys go check them out and tell them China sent you It's your girl Chata Gertis and welcome back to my YouTube channel y'all. Today I am back again with another video for you guys. As you guys can see by the title, today is my birthday and my second gift to myself is a teacup Yorkie. Woo! So I've been wanting a teacup Yorkie since I was like young, since I was maybe in middle school. But I don't know, word on the sheet, they was like so expensive. But now I could finally afford one, so I just bought one. So no, 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 a lot of people been like, oh my gosh, are you gonna give Mozzie away? I am keeping my puppy baby. I'm keeping my dog Mozzie, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just getting another girl on the side so he can have somebody to play with and all that good stuff. So the person, the guy who's supposed to be selling it to me, he's actually dropping it off. I'ma put his Instagram in the description and stuff when he get here cause I low key forgot it. But I got y'all, he always selling cute, cute puppies and stuff like that for the Lolo. So I'ma hook y'all up for sure. 146, he told me his ETA was 230, 245-ish. He's coming from Tennessee, I believe. So that means he had to be on the road since this morning. So I'm just happy, happy, happy to get it. You know what I'm saying, get my dog here so I can just get into like motion of things and just having two dogs. Cause I know it's gonna be hard work, but I think I'm ready for it. Also guys, another, another big, big news for me is that I'm filming my first horror movie tonight. I'm super excited about it. So it's so crazy because it's a lot of good stuff happening to me on my birthday. You feel me? Your girl is now 20. And you know what I'm saying? Your girl is just blessed, highly favorite. You know what I'm saying? JC been coming through for me since day one. So now it's just time to, you know what I'm saying, gather these blessings and get right. My mom is gonna help me a lot, out a lot today. So um, I'm gonna bring the puppies on set with me cause I don't want them here by themselves. You know what I'm saying? And especially my new puppy. Cause I don't want her feeling neglected before she even get here, you feel me? So we about to hurry up, go across the street, we finna go to PetSmart, Petco, whatever the case may be. And we about to get some stuff for my new dog. All right y'all, so we are at cool. Petco. I actually never been here before. Like, I didn't even know. This was a thing, I really didn't. I always went to PetSmart. That was the only pet store I've been to ever. All right, so we just made it back to the crib. Got my new dog a couple of things. They said this is a good little Yorkie puppy food. Just in case she ain't all the way potty trained, feel me? And I also got her 
a whole bunch of toys. Got her a little walker. And y'all know I like to dress my, my dogs up. Got her a cute look. Y'all know I love dressing my dogs up. Got her some bows too, cute. Just some slight until I, you know what I'm saying, drip her all the way out. All right, y'all, so my dog is finally here. I'm on the way downstairs to get her. I left Mazi in the house because I didn't want him going crazy before she even get a chance to relax, you know? So um, I'm kind of excited. The dude told me he was outside and stuff like that. So I'm about to go downstairs, I'm about to get him. And I hopefully she's as cute as the pictures. <laughs> All right, yes, I just got my puppy. Y'all, she's so small. I'm about to cry, y'all. Look, she hecka chill. Like, I haven't heard a peep at all. So, this Honey Hustles, y'all, um, the one who hooked me up with the um, teacup. So, state your name, all that good stuff where they can Hey, this Honey Hustles, man. Y'all can follow me on Honey Hustles <laughs> on Instagram, Facebook, anything you want. Phone number 931-802-7766. All your tour designer breeds. Yep. And we're going to get you what you want. Yep, period. And we black on. Oh, period. Even better, okay? All the way up. So, we finna go up here, y'all. Um, I left my other dog upstairs because I didn't want him to see his sister yet. And, like, literally every time he see another dog, he literally just start acting crazy. Like possessed <laughs> so we finna go up there and get his reaction and all that good stuff so come on y'all i already know my dude about to start going crazy so let's get it look he had the door right now going crazy Mazi, come on he's yeah he's sniffing where he at <laughs> he was behind you yeah. Mazi, Mazi, call her angel call him Come, go in the living room. Take him to the living room with the light at. Right here on the couch. Alright. I'm about to. I ain't gonna sit down for now, but he still don't even notice uh -uh. her. Woo-hoo! He don't even notice her still! I can't, y'all. He see them. I'ma sit down. Yeah, sit down and see what happens. Mozzie! Mozzie! Get me one. Mozzie! Mozzie! He smell he smell my dog. Uh huh. Mozzie! She like? <laughs> he like something ain't right. <laughs> uh oh. Well, I'm about to set it down a little bit. Ooh, she's so tiny. <laughs> He's sniffing her. Okay. Uh oh. oh no. She is so small, dog. Hey, like hey, hey, she can hide anywhere. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> He ain't even barking yet. I think he like her. Well, he better not. All right, now you're doing too much. Oh. Come on, baby. Now he like her. You, 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 got, you got to let him do what he's doing. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on. Yeah, play, play. You been practicing. Okay, y'all, so. It looks like they <laughs> like each other. Oh, there the bark is go. Now he's cool. He's cool. Mm -hmm. you, got, you, got, you got to let him know. He, he really talking. Yeah. Okay, oh, y'all. She playing. They both playing. Okay, so far so good, y'all. Mazi, Mazi. Nope. I'm about to. All right, now he doing too much. So y'all, I just put her some food out, and I'm trying to figure out how I can keep Mazi away from her food, so she can eat her food and his food over there. So this is gonna be a process. This is. I feel like this is gonna be more harder than I thought, y'all. So y'all, um, I'm getting ready for my filming um, time. I gotta be there by 9 p.m. The time is 8.40. So before I go, I want to dress up my puppy baby. Come here, baby. Yeah, she's so mm. tiny. I don't even think it's gonna be able to fit, y'all. I really don't. She's so tiny, y'all. It's insane, honestly. So I'm trying to do it as fast as I can so I can leave her alone. She can't even fit this, y'all. This is an extra, extra small. I can't believe it. Girl, she can barely fit this. It's a shame, huh? No? She can barely fit this. It's crazy. And I'll put her collar on her. <laughs> Baby. She can't fit this, dog. I'm not even gonna do my daughter like that. I'm in a rush, y'all. Just gonna have to wait. We'll see y'all later. Say we'll see y'all later, Maggie. 
What's up, y'all? Um, I didn't get a chance to close my video up the other day on my birthday. Happy belated birthday to me. Your girl is finally 20 now. Woo! I kind of just wanted to update you guys about my um puppy baby. Here she is right here. Very cute, very small. I literally can fit her in a teacup. She's the cutest thing ever. A few things I do want to talk about her, about to you guys. I'm not going to lie, she is very stressful. And she is a handful for sure. The first day I got her, I could tell she was a little timid at first. And um, she'll like get cold all the time because she's so small. And you can tell like she was trying to get around the house because I got like real thick carpet. So she'll like fall sometime in the carpet or not able to walk around like Mozzie can walk around. She's very feisty, y'all. I was trying to, she was using the bathroom and I was trying to put her on the pad to let her know like, hey, use the pad. And she like bit my finger. Um, I recently bought this like little bell. I don't know if y'all hear it. Here you go. I recently bought this bell for her. It's like a kitten collar because literally y'all, like I literally almost step on her or like I tripped her up a few times when I was walking and rushing to the bathroom or something like that. Like she's very, very, very tiny. Like she makes Mozzie look so big and Mozzie is a small dog as well. However, she is the cutest little rascal I ever ran into. I can tell, you know what I'm saying, she's sweet. She just basically trying to like work her way around the crib. She, her nails are very, very sharp. You can just tell the people who saw her to me didn't really potty train her like that. But it's all good because that's not that's not really their job. I mean, when you buy a dog, typically they're not supposed to be potty trained anyway. I've been trying to get a hang of it. I definitely been needing like a lot of help around the crib. Your girl, literally, as soon as your girl got back from Middle Beach on her trip, I had started filming for this horror film that I'm in. Literally, y'all, I've been on set, sun up, sun down, 12 hours straight, 14 hours straight, little to no sleep, and um, I kind of just been grinding this whole entire week, and it's only Tuesday. It's only Tuesday. Thank God I didn't have any scenes to film today, so I kind of, you know, what I'm saying, stayed back. But tomorrow and the rest of the week, I have to grind, grind, grind. So I'm not gonna be on you. YouTube like that I'm gonna send my editor all my videos tonight so I can drop some content for y'all because I know y'all been wanting and I know y'all been like you know what I'm saying trying to know like child like what you did for your birthday like what's tea baby yeah 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 I'm not gonna lie like this movie got me so busy y'all like I honestly should have waited y'all I should have waited to got the puppy maybe like next month or something like that because this week is the busiest week like ever for me i literally just took woke up from a nap i had acting class this morning and i just been like so so tired and drained yeah y'all so mozzie and maggie has been getting along a little fine um a lot of things i noticed about mozzie he tries to like be territorial sometimes like trying to walk over her or trying to walk in front of her or just kind of like knock her down when she's walking so you know what i'm saying i got on to him a few times about that or um of course y'all know mozzie isn't neutered yet so he'll be trying to like hump her and stuff like that and i'll be having to like stop her or catch him in the act um she's so small so he never even comes close like at this point he's just squishing her like it's like baby what are you doing so he go gets neutered on the 20th of this month i really can't wait to go for that that's around the same time i'm gonna get her shots and i'm gonna get him shots but other than that they have been interacting fine like a few times i'll like see them play hop or jump on each other and stuff like she'll like bark in his face and stuff like that so i can tell like they kind of getting used to each other as days and days go by it's definitely gonna take time i signed them up for a dog training class because I don't know what it is, y'all. Like, I can't really um, parent her like how I parent Mozzie. So, even though Mozzie was small as a baby, he was not nearly this small. He probably was this small when he was, like, fresh out the womb. You feel me? Because, man, y'all literally have no idea. Like, I've been so stressed out with this little girl, y'all. She's just so feisty, too. Like, just look at her. Like, she's so feisty. She's the cutest little dog ever, though. But she's just really, really feisty. And you can tell, like, she has no home training. Like... Not even to sound crazy, because I know it sounds like I'm just getting on to her. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You know what I'm saying? She's definitely a new addition to the family, but she's just so different. Like, dogs definitely have different personalities. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
as they come. So, Mozzie been a little chill. I feel like, you know, getting her, you know what I'm saying, adding her, you know what I'm saying, new to the family, took Mozzie obedience for granted. So, Mozzie would do something, I'll probably get a little irritated, but now it's like, Mozzie don't give me trouble at all. Like, he rarely even gave me trouble before. Cause your girl a good parent, okay? Your girl really does this, okay? Period, don't play with me. I've been getting my mom to kind of monitor them while I'm away. Like, they just keep eating each other food. You know, she eats, like, small small dog food and mozzy eat it's like regular dog food so it's kind of and it's like big pebbles versus her food it's like really small pebbles other than that y'all meet maggie i actually have a instagram page for both of them i think mozzy just hit 40k added her onto the um page too so y'all can follow them and just you know what i'm saying i'm gonna keep y'all posted so excuse me on the lack of the content but i got y'all i got y'all i'm probably not gonna post another youtube video for maybe like another week or two until i get my schedule planned out completely um as far as this movie go and these um film dates go say what's up to mozzy you feel me because he's still my baby at the end of the day i never knew how much he listened or how trained he was until i got this dog so but i Alright y'all, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Peace and blessings.